Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you watch this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. So, yesterday was one of the best days of the bipartisan memoranda submission session. I am saying so because yesterday Amos Wako managed to appear but other political parties representatives managed to appear. UDA was supposed to also do a presentation yesterday. I don't know whether they made that presentation but I'll find out. But one of the most interesting presentation was one that was done by the Homa Bay Interface Community. Yes, you said we removed the National Turning Center. Yes. Then how do we collect all these results from the polling stations and centers? How do we, where do we tally them? Uh, normally at Bomas is where the fight is. And the proposal they made seems to be one of the best solutions that Kenya needs. And the proposal is abolishing the Bomas National Turning Center. Because they say that that is where the mess normally occurs. Now, before we get to the analysis of that presentation from the Homer Bay Interface Community, because I have a, a video of that presentation, I'd like to first encourage any first-time viewer or any regular viewer who wasn't subscribed to this channel to please just take one second and subscribe to this channel, give this video a like. And to those who have supported this channel, I want to tell you that I'm forever grateful for that support because without you, this channel cannot grow. So let's get into this analysis. Homer Bay Interface Community <clears throat> Secretary General told Ichungwa, told Wandai, told Asan Omar, Cecil Barire, and other leaders in that meeting that the mess normally occurs at the Bomas National Dining Center. He asked them how comes that according to the minor KI uh, petition that was uh, taken to Supreme Court and what the Supreme Court said later on that the polling station is the final. I mean the results at the polling stations are the final results. So then how comes that there is another tabulation that is being done or rather another verification that is being done at the Bomber Styling Center. Why not just make sure that the votes at the polling stations are final? So I think the idea is very simple. If this is the case, then I think the idea is going to even reduce the number of uh, IABC commissioners. Marjan will be left with probably procurement, signings, and legal issues and the like. But so to cut this story short, let's listen in to what the Secretary of uh, Homer Bay Interface Community said. There is a comment from this side. Michael. Yes. You are on. Yes. No, no, uh, you said we removed the National Turning Center. Yes. Then how do we collect all these results the from the polling stations and centers? How do we, where do we tally them? Uh, what we've heard about, about this from the scenarios of elections which have been held in three elections, after the Maina Kiai's case and what the judges had drilled upon, we saw it that uh, normally at Bomas is where the fight is, not right at the police station. So after all the results of the members of parliament have been declared, MCAs, governors, uh, women reps and senators, everybody dashes to the National Dialing Center. <laughs> So we're asking ourselves, why is it that everybody is dashing towards the National Dining Centers and yet they are voted at the polling stations? So, for us to have a beautiful country, this country we cherish, honorable members, let us be candid enough and honest to ourselves so that future generations will not suffer the same fate. But where do we then... So, Tali, that is, that is what brings me to, to tell you about this. We have 47 counties and this will bring the aspect part of the electoral colleges so if we have like 64,000 polling stations in the entire republic and 
presidential A has got 50, 50 uh, say 50,000. Definitely, he is supposed to be declared the president. Mm -hmm. So you are saying you scrapped the National Telling Center? Yes. Okay. He had movement to electoral colleges. From that video, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> what do you make of the statement from the secretary? You see, there is a part there, if you observe keenly, then the leaders in that meeting it's as if they were shocked to hear the solution that they've much awaited for. There was a time also Raila Molodinga said almost a similar thing by saying that let us now have uh, Chebukatis at uh, polling centers or polling, polling stations so that at the polling station the announcement is final. So that in that case Kenyans will be able to do their own tabulation that uh, probably presidential X, X1 in the in position 1, count 1, another polling station, count 2, another polling station, count 3, another polling station, count 4. So you'll be counting until 60,000 polling stations. I mean, that is what uh, is being advised there by the Homa Bay Interface Community Secretary, which caught the leaders there by surprise, they never expected such a presentation from such a uh, small group from Homer Bay. But nonetheless, this appeared to be one perfect answer. But as to whether this will be adopted and probably implemented, implemented that is another issue altogether. I want to remind you that the constitution of Kenya majority of the items there were borrowed from the U.S. way of governance or rather the U.S. constitution. Majority of the items there. But when it comes to the election, they did not borrow the electoral college votes model to Kenya. Let me take you back to the days where first Trump vied for presidency. Trump won by electoral votes, but when it came to popular votes, he did not. That is to mean that, for example, President A can get maybe 10 million votes. President B gets 9.4 million votes. But President B can be announced the winner simply because he won in majority polling stations. That's what they term the electoral votes, according to Homer Bay Interface Community Secretary. So that is the model that they are trying to bring. I think this is going to save a lot on the issue of server. You know, right now the issue of server is becoming a, has become a thorny issue. So the issue of server it akua hapa because there will be no over reliance on the national tallying center or the boma server centralization of data so that you again go to audit that boma server there will be none of that because this idea will empower the polling stations to be the final uh, result to, to to be the ones with the final uh, results that are being announced because if you listen to the video again, there's a part where the secretary talks about members of parliament, women rep, governors, senators, MCS. So once they have been elected, they always rush to the Bomas National Tallying Center. So that is why he was asking Kwanini, Uwan and Akule, why don't they just protect what is at the polling station? Why do they have to rush to the Bomas National Tallying Center? So after all the results of the members of parliament have been declared, MCS, governors, uh, women reps and senators. Everybody dashes to the National Dialing Center. <laughs> so we'll be asking ourselves, why is it that everybody is dashing towards the National Dialing Center and yet they are voted at the polling stations? So that's why you're saying that there is a need to abolish it completely. Abolish it and retain maybe the few few secretariats who will be doing the final announcement. Kwamba, according to the numbers, the college votes for maybe presidential airs in Mexico, 
the for college votes for presidential bees mfkidadi so hiyo will be one of the best solutions it's not the the issue of playing with numbers that you have 8 million you have 10 million you have 11 million no it will be the issue of playing with the polling stations which how many polling stations you've won in it's not only the issue of numbers but how many polling stations you have won in so ladies and gentlemen i'd like to rest my case there but uh, if you feel that this solution by the Homer Bay Interface Community Youth Leader is the best medicine for the problems of uh, the Kenya election system or is one of the best solutions for electoral justice, then just go below the comment section and uh, tell us what you think about it. Just offer your remark because we'd like to extend this conversation. This is a very, very interesting topic the electoral college vote is a very interesting topic we would like to propagate this narrative further until it reaches to so many other people so i expect you to go below the comment section and please tell us what you think about it what you think about the the, the presentation so once you've done that we will have to do another analysis which which will be a combination of uh, your comments uh, your comments uh, we need your comments so that we can amplify this narrative because i look at this narrative and I think this is one of the best solutions to the Kenyan electoral system. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to wind up there. But uh, kindly, if you're first time viewer, just or regular viewers don't subscribe, please just do so by subscribing. Give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.